Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. For you guys watching at home, it's probably been about a week or two since the last video. Um, but for me, it's been the best part of four weeks since I've actually seen the Clio. So I'm back off to Jail Automotive to go and pick it up. We're going to run through what's been going on and kind of why it's taken so long. So I'll flip the camera around. We'll go and visit Josh again um, and go and catch up and see what's been done. So. So we're back with Josh. This one's uh, definitely kept you busy over the last couple of weeks, hasn't it? Yeah, it sure has. Um, <laughs> got a few niggly issues waiting for bits and everything, though. But um, first things first, when you first come in, uh, that was your issues with your, your springs. Both yeah. front springs were gone. We thought that just only your uh, one side had gone. But on in more inspection, we got it off, and uh, both, of them, both of them were gone. So we switched them all round and uh, had some apex lowering springs put in. Um, which, which lowered it down and give you a bit, bit better handling. Yep. Um, and then once we'd sorted that out, we, we went over your brakes, made sure everything was free. On the back uh, sliders, that was seized, so we've had to free them off. Otherwise, you'd have had your handbrake binding on once you've been going oh, along. Oh, yeah. um, and then while we was under there, we uh, took, the, took the cat out and get, get a few more uh, brake horsepower <laughs> out of it, ready for when we uh, remap part it. Of, it's the cleanest part of the car now, I think, isn't it? Yeah, we, we grabbed that from uh, Scorpion. Yeah. And um, if you remember on the, the video before, there was a hanger that was missing on the uh, back box. Yeah. We've uh, put our new hanger in and that's all back to how it should be, no rattling around anymore. Um, and then also on the front middle box, there was a, a split in the centre box, so we've tacked that back up for you. Uh, so there's no more blowing and it's and then a new fitting kit as well from Renault. Bearings done as well? Yes, both front wheel bearings were changed when we had the uh, front shocks off. So they're all free as a bird and... Uh, yeah, I think no I more grinding, one, I think when I was, grinding noises. When I was driving, I don't know if the other yeah, one was the it, same. Yeah, it was definitely the driver's side that had gone, but it, while we had both hubs off, it was a it best to sense, change them both over at the same time. Yeah, so going back to the uh, the brakes, we've had all new discs and pads on the back, and new wheel bearings inside the discs. Um, they've all been changed through. Um, the sliders were seized as well, so we've freed them off for you. Good. So yeah, moving under the bonnet then. Yeah, so after all the suspension and everything was all sorted, um, we went down to the main concern was the cam belt and defaser that we wasn't sure whether it's been changed and it was quite rattle, rattly on startup. Um, so we've changed all that. Um, you can see from the, the cam belt here, it hadn't been changed and you can see the, the cracking in the belt. Yeah. And uh, while we was there, we went to a aircon delete setup from a, a cup model. Um, thank you for a JMRS for supplying that to us yeah. um, and you can see where the alternator belt tensioner was rubbing through on the belt um, that had completely seized solid and with that we can save a bit of weight as well with all the uh, aluminium brackets yeah. all gone and Is that the other aircon right down there as well isn't it? Yeah that's it, the aircon radiator, all the pipe work and the big chunky aircon pump oh, okay. that we've got rid of. How much reckon we say? About 9kg I think you said? Yeah I'd say so, I'd say so with everything but the main concern was that automatic tensioner. Yeah. Um, we've got rid of that and gone to a, an old fashioned style um, uh, manual tensioner, you can't, can't, it, can't go yeah. wrong. <laughs> and then while we was there we done a full service so we changed up the plugs and we noticed you had a slight oil leak on the, the previous video. Um, which was coming from the defaser solenoid. So we've changed that O seal there from Renault. Yeah. Um, so we've got no more oil leaks. We've run it all up to temperature. We've had fresh coolant, fresh power steering fluid, yeah. and it's just ready for your JMRS intake. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I think a lot of people were saying that I kind of bought a bit of a nail, but I suppose you can spend the right money potentially to get Well, that, that's work. it. At least you know what's been done. But that's and, it. It's all been um, done, hasn't it? Done properly. That's now, it. So. That is it. Brilliant. Sorted, but. Yeah, you'll be doing a happy motoring and get some track days in. <laughs> yeah, it'd be nice to drive it. I've not driven it more than 10 metres. So I far, think I've had so it longer than you have. You have, mate. <laughs> So that's a wrap for today's video. Obviously a massive shout out to Josh. You've got to make sure you go and check out JL Automotive. Um, genuinely one of the probably hardest working people I've ever met in my life. So yeah, it's kind of good to have the clear back finally. So I can actually take it for a drive now more than hopefully 10 meters, I think it was before. So yeah, obviously if you have enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe, like, and share. Drop a comment as well with your thoughts on the video, but otherwise, thanks for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye.